are driving on our way to Maryville across the center of California, about halfway across the state. We'd be uh, north of San Francisco, and well, north and west, but north of Sacramento primarily, maybe about 50 miles. There's you know, lots of Spanish sort of names around here, things like Buena Vista. We just, uh, out ahead here is the town of Don't, Don't Miss the Vista. Um, we, uh, we're going to have probably about 150 to 200 miles of basically the same kind of traffic like this across most of the state, I would guess. There's just a general kind of lot of business across the middle of the state. A lot of bedroom communities that aren't really bedroom communities are large in their own right, and they just generate lots of activity between them. We'll cross highways Interstate 5 after a bit, and also Highway 101 for dropping over to the coast on Highway 1. We'll hit uh, Highway 101, will be the town of Ukiah, and then we'll drop over to Fort Bragg in the Mendocino area. So here we are in Central California again. Tomatoes, those are fields of tomatoes, as far as you can see on each side, more or less. And we've seen some sort of bean crops out here and some other mysterious things. We're on the San Joaquin Valley. Uh, right now we're in the vicinity of uh, Oh, we're going to come up on Highway 5 a little bit. We just crossed over the Sacramento River. Come into towns of Calusa and Williams and then cross over into the uh, out of the valley again at some point. Meanwhile, it's pretty flat. Not a lot going on. There's one little hill out there. Kind of looks like the uh, scene from American Graffiti out here. Some straight stretches. You can see some hills off in the distance. And not much going on. Just climbed up and out of the uh, Sacramento Valley, much like the San Joaquin Valley. I guess that's what we really were in. And uh, now we're uh, climbing up over some of the foothills of the coastal ranges. And we'll be going through this for another half hour or so to, to an hour over to Highway 101. And then we're almost at the coast. I believe these are mostly, uh, probably a lot of oaks on the sides, various sorts of oak, a lot of different deciduous stuff. You can see the kind of general dryness though between the trees, a lot of uh, brown, golden grasses. Uh, it's obviously been dry here. Driving around the North Shore of Clear Lake now. Clearly not your Black sort of place. There are. Uh, Fairly nice looking places along the edge here, they're just sort of hanging into the water. They have docks with water slides on them and, and uh, quite a lot of stuff built up at the water's edge. Even some little homes built out sort of on the docks. Um, I'm guessing it's probably on the expensive side. Fairly large lake, 10, 15 miles long. Maybe two hours out of San Francisco. going over the Highway 20 section that takes us from Highway 101 over to Highway 1, where we'll join up the coast at about Fort Bragg. And many of the trees along here now are probably redwoods. There's some redwoods on a truck. And uh, some of them are pretty large. 
So there's some real nice trees in here at this point. This uh, 101 was known as the Redwood Highway back where we were, and of course any of these old canyons would tend to have redwood populations in them. And as usual, Ray is going about 80 miles an hour on a 20 mile an hour road. G-forces are pretty incredible. Going through a construction zone, being led by a lead car out there. Real dark. Now we're in the Mendocino area. Ocean's out that way. And we're going back to our campsite. Ocean's also out of sight that way. We uh, got a nice campsite at Russian Gulch State Park. And we just went to eat supper at. Where did we eat? Mendocino Cafe. Mendocino Cafe. Pretty good. Good cheese. We had cheese quesadillas, yes. Standard if she can get it. And I had a Thai burrito. And we didn't wear ties. We did visit Lark in the morning. Talked with the uh, owner's mother. Gertie. Gertie? Yeah. And she said that uh, she didn't know how to play piano. She didn't make her son take piano lessons either. But her son did take up an interest in guitar at one point, decided he had to have one, and that's, this is the Russian Gulch area that we're staying in, and quickly moved on from there to ban banjos and mandolins and other things, and now runs, owns Lark in the Morning, and travels the world looking for various instruments, and many of which he knows how to play. This is Mendocino, right by Russian, Russian Gulch State Park, actually within the park. 